guys, it's Cosmo Hello here and welcome to my video. I know I look a little bit like a naked mole at the moment, but I haven't got anything on my eyes because straight after this video I'm going to be filming a first impressions on an eyeshadow palette. So excuse the fact that I look like a naked mole wrap. Forget about this. <laughs> so today I have an autumn haul for you. I didn't go too crazy, but I do have two Primark bags and um, a couple of bags from other places as well. So yeah. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my face and more videos from me and also click the little eye in the corner so you can see my previous video, whatever that might be. Let's crack on with what I bought. Okay, so we're going to start with Primark and the first thing I picked up is this mustard jumper here. I've never owned a jumper of this colour so I'm actually really excited about this. Like, it's so cute. So this is a mustard coloured jumper and the sleeves are like quite wide. I feel like this is becoming a fashion trend because I've also got another top that I bought from Primark with really wide sleeves. And love it or hate it, Primark do kind of either create its own trends or like starts catching on to the trends quite quickly. So I picked this up, I thought it'd be really warm and really cosy. I think at the moment it might be a little bit too on the warmer side to wear this and like layer up and wear a coat but I could definitely wear this on its own like if I take my dog out for a walk um, or underneath a light jacket so that was this and I got it in a size small which is 6 to 8 and it was £13 next I picked up this top and I thought this top was quite an autumny top as well because of the colour so it's more like a burnt orange so it's like an off red yeah I'm going to go with burnt orange I got this in a size 6 which I'm hoping is going to fit me I'm actually a size 8 but 6 or 8 is usually fine this was six pounds and at the front we have like a crisscross style so it's a v-neck and it has a crisscross crisscross style going over the chest and again with the sleeves it has that same style so they go really wide at the bottom i think it's just like coming into fashion what year was that from like the 60s maybe that everyone had like really wide sleeves I just feel like it might be an autumn fall trend this year but I actually really like this top and for £6 it's quite a casual wear thing and also if you wanted to you can dress this up. I picked up this skirt and this was actually £8, I got this in a size 6 as well, look at it, oh my god this colour I just think it's amazing. At the back it has a silver zip so you can zip it up and on the zip is like this um, circle hoop which is so pretty, I don't know I just, I'm I don't really wear skirts and even in the summer I'm not really a huge skirt fan. I only really wear skirts if I'm going out out or if I'm um, maybe on holiday. But I just thought this is really cute and you could definitely wear it with um, like black tights as well. Like you don't have to be revealing anything. And I did buy another top um, from Zara which I'll show you in a minute which is going to go with this. But this is like a, um, I don't know what you call it. Oh my god, what do you call it? I can't remember what the material is but it's that material that when you go the other way. It like changes colour, if you can even see that. Usually you find this material on maybe sofas or cushions, but I got it on a skirt and it's so adorable. Next I bought this off tilled coloured jumper kind of thing. It is cropped, so it does have like a cut off style at the bottom, but it's not like an unfinished look. I got this in a size 4 and it was £5. I thought that... If I wanted it really baggy, I probably would have got it in a size 8 because it's meant to be a bit baggier. But I didn't want it too baggy on me. Like, the size 4 is baggy enough. And I just thought, I don't know, I just thought a size 4 fitted me perfectly. The sleeves are really wide, especially underneath the armpit. They're quite baggy. So that's the kind of style I was going on there, which is probably if you've got, like, your own size. So I'm a size 8, it'd probably be really baggy there. But it's a little bit more fitted with the size 4. So if you want it to kind of be baggier than it is go up if you like it to be like baggy but fit to like who you are keep it your size if you don't want it to be as baggy then go a size down i picked up some jeans from primark i've never purchased uh primark jeans before and i just thought let's just pick them up let's try them see how they fit see how they do and it's not only until i got home that i realized i got the body curve one it's like a picture of a woman's bum 
so I'm assuming it like curves around your body. Um, I got this, oh it says push up mid rise, so it probably like pushes up your bum. Um, they were £9 and I got this in a size 8 and it's this colour here. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of jeans that have this colour. So I've got light blue which I have on today, I've got like dark blue but like a denim dark blue, white, black um, and like a grey colour but I've never had like a blue like a navy blue, does that make sense? So I picked these up, as I said they were £9, I think I'll just try them out, see how they go, they're quite stretchy, they seem to look fine on the length, I haven't actually tried them on properly yet, um, but yeah, I'm hoping they last, even if they last me just out through the autumn and winter periods for, like, for the rest of the year, that's fine, they've done their job, they were only 9 quid. Moving on, I got a top from Zara, and it's this here. This is so soft. So this is white. It's like a t-shirt kind of cut, but it has like, um, it's like fluffy. Oh, it's so soft and fluffy and nice. I actually think this will keep me quite warm. It isn't too thick. So like, if you can see, I, well, I can see my hand through there. I don't know if you can, but it isn't too thick. It's really, really, really comfy though. Really good. And I thought this would go perfect with that skirt. So... The skirt and this together would be perfect. If this skirt was bright pink, I'd get like Reese Witherspoon, Legally Blonde, Elwood vibes. But even so, like I feel like a sophisticated person, Barbie person, wearing this top with that skirt. I think it's definitely a favourite look. And this was twelve ninety nine, so not too bad. Quite a nice buy. I really liked it. New Look sorted me out with a right good deal. I was walking around and all the tops weren't shouting at me, they weren't screaming to me. There was a few that I was like, yeah, that's nice, I would wear that out and about, but not enough for me to go up and actually buy it. But then this top literally just glowed in my face and I was like, I have to buy that. And that's this top here. Look how stunning it is. Autumn all round. OMG. I got this in a size 6, so it was a size down, and it has those wide sleeves again, but these only go 3 quarters of the way down, and it's an off the shoulder top, so it looks cropped, but it's actually not, it sits quite comfortably, it's not long, it just sits comfortably on the waistline, but it goes like across your shoulders like this, oh my god, and it is really stretchy as well, so this is why I got this in a size 6, because I tried it on and it fitted fine, I think if I got a size 8 it would be too baggy and it would just keep annoying me, whereas this kind of like singes in, perfectly just across my chest i loved it and it was so good because the price is 11 pounds and 99p and they said it was two for 12 pounds so it's basically buy one get one free so of course i had to pick up the one in black so this is a black one i usually buy white like i was really drawn to the white because i love white i just i love white for for the autumn i'm gonna go a bit darker and go with black i usually always get gray like uh, 10 times out of 10 it's gray and like, that doesn't make sense. Nine times out of ten it's grey, and then the rest of the time it's white. Um, and I thought, actually I'm going to go with black, because everyone says like, I always only wear black. But me personally, I don't always wear black. So I thought, actually I'm going to get this in black, and it's the same style. Absolutely love it. Size six. So then, that was £12 for those two. But then, I also got these earrings, and it is um, one gold and one silver, obviously not real, hoop earrings. They had bigger ones, but I really like these ones because they were like comfortable, not too in your face. You know what they say, bigger the hoop, bigger the... So I thought these were quite comfortable, it was a nice little size, and gold and silver, and they were £1.99. Honestly, cannot complain. So all together, oh, I've lost my receipt, all together, it came to like 13 quid or whatever, that 14 quid. But then I had a student discount and I paid like 11 pounds and 60 pence, some kind of crap like that. So I paid less for free items than the actual item was itself. So as I said, the top was 11.99 and for all three I paid like 11.69, something like that. It was, oh my God, it was insane. So New Look sorted me out with a right good deal. Thanks New Look. And last but not least, I picked up two makeup palettes. So the first one I picked up was the Revolution Soph Does Now palette. Absolutely love her. Shout out to you, so if you do so well. I started watching you not too long ago, but long enough ago to know that you've grown so much in the past year. And she's she's so lovely. She's just so genuine. Um, and she released this palette with Revolution, which I bet is such a huge deal. I can't even imagine. 
oh I just can't so I picked up a palette it was sold out everywhere and I went into the store and they had like two left and one of them was like already torn and open and I was like no but they had this I was gonna pick up the highlighter palette for eight pounds because this one was ten pounds um but I just didn't because I don't know I'm just not too fussed about my highlight like I kind of have my set ones and I keep it with my set ones so just got the eyeshadow palette and that was the only reason why I went into Superdrug but then I actually walked past the Barry M stand and saw this oh my god so it's called the Fall in Love palette and it's um 10 cool and warm matte shades they did have one that was like shimmery and it was called something else but I was like OMG look at these colours can you see that? Mm, mm, mm. there's a yellow in there, there's a red, there's browns, there's like a white, there's some good transitions colours, there's like a deep brown black colour, I just thought OMG and I think it was like £6.49 something like that, I was, oh my god I was shocked and the very last thing is my Halloween decorations which you can see all around, I picked up some orange lights um, there's some pumpkin lights, the pumpkin sign I already had, um, tinsel, a little pumpkin like tea light holder, and it was all from like Poundland, like no no joke, it was all at like, £1 each, so go to Poundland, there was some really cool um, Halloween stuff out at the moment. I actually went to Tesco to get some Halloween stuff, and I couldn't find any Halloween stuff, but I found an aisle of um, Christmas stuff. They had an aisle for Christmas, and then when I asked where the Halloween stuff was, they were like, or oh, it doesn't come out yet because it's too early. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration. I was particularly loving like that yellow mustard jumper. Primark hooked them up. They also had like a lot more. They did have a lot more going on. I just went on a Saturday and it was really crowded and I was like, I can't even breathe, let alone think. So I'm just gonna, whatever really catches my eye. That's kind of what I do, especially in Primark because the lines are so long. I kind of say, I really like this, really like this, but is it worth me waiting and paying? No, but if I find something that I'm like, no, I need this, then yeah, I'll, I'll pick up some other things and then I go pay. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the big thumbs up if you're excited for autumn like me and have a fabulous day, evening, morning, whatever. Have a fabulous dinner, have a fabulous breakfast, whatever floats your boat. Thank you very much guys and I will see you in my next video, uh, bye!